What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Roxanne right over here, the wonderful gym leader of the Rustboro City Gym, and now it is finally time for us to actually move on into our adventure. Now, a quick disclaimer right here, guys, just letting you guys know every single episode. Please excuse the lagginess of this whole video right here. Sometimes we get a little laggy, sometimes we don't. It's a hit and miss, and it's mainly because of the capture card that I'm using. You know, that's the magic part about homebrew. You don't know what you're going to get right here. So, let us move on and uh, continue our adventure right here. As, as many of you guys already know, once we step out of the gym, we're going to be getting a bit of a robber right here. As you can see, move out of the way! And, uh, well, there's our, our good old buddy, the scientist. Wait, please! Don't take those parts. Same scientist, you know, from... Uh, from the Petalburg Woods. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to be the heroes of the day again. And, uh, well, we have no problem with it. No problem with, uh, whatsoever, because we get the name recognition, all that stuff, the bitches and all that stuff. And, uh, well, first and foremost, I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right here, because I didn't use Gaia not one time. In fact, Gaia was just mooching off the uh, points that it was getting from, uh, from uh, Sai, or from Sage. So here he is. Oh, you there! You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods! Help me. I was robbed by Team Magma. I have to get those Devon parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Well, I guess we're going to be the heroes again. And, uh, well, we have no issue whatsoever. So let's move on right here and uh, take care of business. This guy's in our way. Alright, so here we are in Route 116. And as you can see, it is a... Uh, Nice grassy area with all this crud that's in, in front of us. And uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Of course, many of these Pokemon trainers are, gra are bug type trainers. So as you can see, we're going to be taking on Jose right here. And he's coming out with his Wurmple. Look at that. Oh, yes. Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Of course, it does uh, It does have one good move. And, uh, well, it does... It's using its trace attack right here. So let's go right ahead and use that confusion right here. So let's go. Confusion for the win. Not really. And, uh, well, there's this. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot. Gaia is also a fairy type Pokemon. So that's why it sounded super effective right there. Okay. And uh, there you go. No more Wurmple. Alrighty. And hello, hello. Welcome to level 10 right there. Alrighty, and uh, who else is getting... Oh, look at that! Sage grows to level 16, which is always good. And he's going to be coming out with a Ninkata, so I'm going to stick by right here. And hopefully Ninkata doesn't have any kind of, like, bug-type moves or anything. If not, I'm going to be very, very pissed. So here we go, Confusion again. Super power... Well, not super powerful, but... It's still, get... it's still got some of the job right, and... Uh, here we go... Another super, oh, not super effective, but confusion attack. And there you go. No more Ninketa. Alrighty. Look at that. And it's about to use a Silcoon right here. So, let's see. I'm just going to stick by. You know, this is Gaia's turn. It hasn't battled all last episode. Kind of needed to battle, you know, that kind of stuff. So, here we go. Confusion for the win. And uh, that doesn't really do much. But here we go. A hardened attack from a Silcoon and all that crud. So let's go right again and do this. Confusion for the win. Oh, yes. That is how you do it. Alrighty, look at that. And, uh, well, everybody's getting some experience points. We're feeling happy. And this guy thought he had me. We got some money. And, uh, well, did you look at that? Our very first evolution. And it's Sage of the Halo. Hell yeah, finally. Okay, so... After 16 good levels, Sage will finally evolve into a cool Pokemon right here. And uh, I actually thought this was going to float all the way up, but I was I was confused by Pokemon Sun and Moon. And so as you can see, Trico finally evolved into a Grovile, a very, very powerful Pokemon right here, a very fast one. And it's finally learning a few, new good, a few good moves. Fury Cutter is one of them. So let's go right ahead and teach it this Fury Cutter. Of course, I'm going to get rid of Leer right here because uh, who uses Leer? Not that many... Not that many people right there. So there we go. It learned. And uh, look at that. Fury Cutter as its new arsenal. That's good. That's great. That's awesome. Okay. So let's move on right here. I'm not moving anywhere. And uh, 
Here we found ourselves a repel, which is always nice. I think we can actually buy repels now. And, uh, well, let's see. There's another item right there. And, uh, yeah, we get, we get seen by this guy right here. So, my Pokemon and I rule! Let's check us out. Okay. So, here we go. Another battle against Youngster Joey. I guess they're all named Youngster Joey or something. And here he comes out with uh, his Zigzag Goon. So... Let's see what's going on. And did, do you do you guys see the sky up here? It's freaking nice, very very nice right here. So here we go, confusion and all that stuff. Let's get it, confusion. Alrighty, okay, and it's actually confused. Finally, something going in our favor right here. And uh, well, confused again. Alrighty, you're hurting yourself with confusion, buddy. So here we go, another confusion attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. No more Zigzagoon. Okay. And, well, our Zigzagoon is growing to level 10. And he's going to be coming out with a Machop. So this is actually favorable for us right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, see what this Machop can do. You know, that's another cool thing about this game. Especially for Pokemon, Omega Ruby, XY, and all that stuff. Uh, you can actually trade Pokemon. So you, you guys will be able to see... Uh, well, I will be showcasing... Uh, Ultra Psycho in this game right here too since now I can trade as you can see not super effective let's go right ahead and use another confusion attack right here for the win yeah there's there's a lot or there is a lot of stuff that I want to do onto this game guys I'm very very excited for it and uh, well hopefully we'll be able to like showcase them all and as you can see guy is learning disarming voice let's go right ahead and teach it disarming voice since it's another move we don't really need growl anymore so yeah let's forget that and uh, well there we go tada forgot growl and it learned disarming voice okay so that's another good move right there and uh, all our points goes to other Pokemon right there and uh, well there we go we defeated youngster Joey out with the scrape and again guys sorry for the uh, lagginess of this game but you know Internet, you gotta love it. And Crud, we're gonna get attacked again by another Pokemon right here. And uh, it's a Talo. I think I already captured one off screen. Yeah, I think I captured one off screen. Didn't bother to use it for the Petalburg Woods. Yeah, I think that's what everybody does right there. So I'm gonna just run away. But I can't! God dang it. Okay, here we go. Run away safely. Oh, God. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are again, and, uh, well, I'm just, I'm trying to grab this item right here. So here we have another potion, which is good. And, uh, you know what? Maybe it's time to use our starting Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's go ahead and pick this guy out right here. So, there we go. Switch him out. And, uh, let's go right ahead and, uh, start finding people to battle and all that stuff. Of course, we're gonna be seen by this lady right here. And, uh... Let me teach you how to strong my or how strong my Pokemon is. Strong and adorable, I should say. Okay, so here we go. We're battling Last Janice, and she's gonna be coming out with her Meryl right here. Okay, so I picked the right Pokemon for this guy right here. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Okay, so Mega Drain is nearly drained, but not as drained. Look at that. And there goes her Meryl, fainting before our eyes. Hell yeah, look at that. And Poochiana grows to level 11 without doing anything. And yes, I'm too much for you, baby. Way too much. Okay, so let's move on right here. And uh, maybe we... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm close to being done right here. So let's go right ahead and sneak by this guy. Crud! Getting attacked by another Pokemon. Gotta love it. And here we have another Zigzagoon. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. Alrighty, so let's get the heck out of here before we start getting attacked by Zigzagoon. And, uh, never mind! If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top! Alrighty. Okay, so here we go, going up against Hiker Clark, and he will be coming out with his very own Geodude right here. Look at that. Okay, Sage. You know what to do. Destroy him. Alrighty, so here we go. Mega Drain for the win. Look at that. And it is super effective. Look at that. 
No more Geodude. Okay, alrighty. So what is next? Another Geodude? I don't think it has a sturdy technique. Does it? Maybe? I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. Another Mega Drain right here, and look at that. It does have the sturdy technique. <laughs> okay, and uh, well, rollout is his best, his best option right now, so it doesn't really do much right here. So let's go with another quick attack, and here we go. Quick attack for the win. That way I don't get to use my Mega Drain so many times. And uh, would you look at that. Sage grows to level 17. So as you can see, guys, leveling up is very, very uh, easy right here. Catching Pokemon, battling Pokemon, experience share at the very beginning. Yeah, you can actually find that right here. So, let's see. What is next? We're going to be moving on right here. Uh, let's see. Homeboy right here is a little disgruntled. He's like, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools and some goon to order me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to no loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Ah, yeah, well. That is true. And, uh, well, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and, uh... Let's go right ahead and go right here. So, here we have the... Well, the experience... Or, no, no. The X... The X, uh, item which is the special item, and as you can see right here, you can actually, uh, yeah, the, uh, let's see, there's something fishy about this spot, maybe a Pokemon with the right move, and that right there is a secret base, which we will be doing a little bit later, trust me, guys, uh, you guys are gonna have fun if you find my secret base somewhere, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy, and he's like, oh, what am I to do? We were just out for a walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by some odd thug, and then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? Oh, wow. The voice acting sucks a little bit, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, so we're going to be going in here into the uh, the Rust Turf Tunnel right here. And uh, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and... Uh, where is the repels? There it is. Okay, so there we go. We just... Uh, that's one. And uh, now we're just going to be moving on right here. So let's see. We're going to be finding an item... And that, there you go. We found ourselves a Pokeball. Much needed item. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. Oh, so it's you again. What? Are you coming? Come and get it, then. Oh, I'm about to get some. Grr, key haul it all. This Haas's Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway into the tunnel to nowhere. And you, now we're here to battle me. Really? Yes. Well, we're going to be battling you again. So here it is, another Team Magma member, or the same one that we battled back in the uh, 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 Rustboro... No, no, Petalburg... Uh, <laughs> Petalburg Woods. Can't even talk right now. And, uh, well, luckily for us, we do have a move that can beat this guy. We got this Fury Cutter right here. Look at that. Easy. Easy stuff. And, uh, well, Homeboy is just going to be doing his Howl attack. Not much. So, here we go. Fury Cutter again. He's gonna get a little stronger, but luckily for us, Dark type Pokemon are weak against this guy. And uh, well, everything is uh, nice and easy right here. Zigzag grows to level 11, and it wants to learn Headbutt, but it wants to. Yeah, we have to delete a, a few moves here. We're just gonna delete Tackle Attack. We're really not, you know, we're not really gonna use Zigzag Goon right here. And uh, I'm just pressing through the button right here. And there you go. We defeated another Team Magma member. And he's like, ah. Is it the way of my evil, or the end of my evil deeds? Maybe. Just maybe. This is not, this, or this is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was to steal some parts from Devon. Jack, you want him bad, uh, you want him back so badly, then take him. And there we go, guys. We get ourselves the Devon parts right here, and uh, putting into the key parts right here. And uh, look at that. Pico is finally happy. And uh, there's Mr. Briny. He's like, Pico, I'm glad you are safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so it's Draven, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, Draven. If there's something you ever need, don't hesitate to add. tell me. If, uh, well, let's see. If I'm to be found, it will always be at my cottage near the sea. 
at the Petalburg Woods. Near the settle... Well, yeah, you guys know what I mean. I'm just, like, talking all over the place right now. I'm excited about this game, guys. Come on, Pico. High time we're under the way to how? To home. <laughs> Can't even speak like this guy. God damn, these speech impediments and all that stuff. You gotta love it. Okay. So as you can see, we can't do anything right now because we don't have Rock Smash. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the heck out of here. And uh, hopefully, well, I was about to say not get attacked by a Pokemon. But here we are getting attacked by a Whismur. Definitely not a Whisper right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and get the F out right here. Alrighty. And, uh, well, let's see. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to be like, Grr, that goofy goon, I tell it out of the tunnel, I can go back to digging. That's good. Okay, so I know that there's people right here that you can actually find, guys, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to skip all of that and get to the Devon Corporation. And, uh, well, might get attacked by a Pokemon here and there. So there we go. Nope, didn't get attacked by a Pokemon. Alrighty. So where is he? I don't even know. So let's see, where can I find him? Oh, there he is. Okay, so here he is looking at us, and he's like, "Oh, how'd you get it? Or, or oh, how did I uh, go? Did you get my Devon parts? Yes, you did. You got him back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As a thanks, I'll give you a great ball. And uh, well, we get ourselves a great ball, which is always great." And uh, he's like, oh, yes, young man, please come with me. Well, let's see what let's see what's going to happen right here. We're going into the Devon Corporation and, uh, well, let's see what this guy has to say. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is in this on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for the company. You can, can you, could you wait here for a moment? Well, I have no choice. Really have no choice. And homeboy here's like, our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Okay. Walking, walking, walking. Waka, waka, waka. And he's like, please go ahead. And look at that. The president right there is looking at us and he's like, I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. Let's see. I heard just now that... Wait, 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 like, I heard just now how we have quite a bit of, uh, th or, uh, quite a bit to thank you for. So you help my, uh, uh, or help out my staff, not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of you, of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know that I'm a president you can trust. Well, better than our president right now, I'll tell you that right now. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor with nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenab, please, or uh, your Pokenab Plus for a moment. And we're giving it right here. And as you can see, Mr. Stone has updated our Pokenab. Now we can use the Buzznav. The function that I just uh, added to your Pokenab is, uh, oh crud, the hell? Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. Hold on just a sec, okay. You guys can't see what's going on right now, but it says right here, the function that I added to your Pokenab Plus is called the Buzznab. And, uh, hold on just a sec, hold on. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world, and, uh, you can use it from region to region, yada yada yada. Now, the important issue is that he wants to ask us to, to deliver a letter to a man named Steven. You can find him in Duford, uh, in Duford, and here we get ourselves the letter from him. Of course, you guys can't see it because uh, my thing has paused. And let's see, you'll have to cross the you'll have to cross the sea to do for it, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briny, an old senior who lives at the hunt at Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him, and he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk to me again. Alrighty, so let me let me just put this back right here. Meanwhile. Alrighty, guys. So, like I was saying, from time to time, we're gonna be feel, we're gonna be seeing ex or experiencing uh, difficulties here and there, just because. Uh, well, it all depends on the internet right here and all that stuff. I promise you guys, I tested all of it out. But as you can, as you can see, guys, our next mission we're gonna be going to do for town to go find uh, Steven Stone. And as you can see right here, this guy actually revives fossils. So eventually, 
We're gonna go to him and uh, revive some fossils that we're gonna be finding around here. Maybe, I don't even know how many fossils there is, but hopefully we can find every single fossil and all that crud. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it. As you can see, look at that. Look at all the, the stones right here. They are sure living up to the, the last name Stone right there. So there it is. And after you uh, get out of the, the uh, Devon Corporation, you got May right here. She's like, oh, hey, Draven, have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm pretty good at that front, at least. I got so many Pokemon in the Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. I passed Mr. Briny when I was uh, in the Petalburg Woods. Hmm. I guess he, uh, he must uh, have been on his way home to his cottage at Route 104. Draven, you just get or you just move here, so there's no way you could know. But Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. I don't even know what a seafarer is. Probably like a sailor or something. I don't even know. Okay, so that is pretty much it right here for this episode, guys. Again, again, I'm really sorry about the the whole lagginess and all that stuff. You know, I'm gonna try my best to to limit all that stuff. I really, really don't want to go to the Japanese version because there's hardly any lagginess, but this thing is kind of convincing me. You know, we sometimes we get our good days, sometimes we get our bad days. I don't know, guys. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.